They're back, and what a monstrosity it is. Let's check it out. Jeff here. So the other day I had a uh, Amazon credit. So I was looking through my collection and what can I use this for? Cause I want to go ahead and get something, get a new piece of uh, vinyl record with it. And I found one, I'm like, you know, I've had this on my wish list for like three years now. And I don't think the price is going to go down any. It's just going to go up because this album is limited to like 350 pieces period. And I thought, well, I can I can go ahead and use this credit to pay at least half of it. So I did. And it finally came in and it arrived today. Madam X Monstrosity. Now, if you're not familiar with Madam X, if you're from the 80s like me, they had an album, We Reserve the Right. They had a video, which I'm probably playing on here now, of uh, High in High School. Crazy looking band, the Petrucci sisters, Roxy and Maxine. Now, after the Madam X first album was released and they kind of fizzled out, and it, there was, of course, after the singer left, uh, Sebastian Bach did appear in the band for a short amount of time before the Skid Row years. And that, there was no recordings or anything, but there have been promo pictures of Madam X with, with him. And so they fizzled out. And that was about it. And then, you know, I you hear rumors where they pop up every once in a while to have, uh, you know, a show here or there. And then I guess in the, I think, 2013, the, uh, they got back together, 2013 or 14, they played an outdoor festival overseas. After that show, around 2017, David Ellison from Megadeth's fame decided to approach the band and got them signed on his label and put out this album in 2018 it's on the emp label 2018 this was released so like i said it's been out a couple years i've listened to it quite a few times digitally and i knew i wanted to get it eventually i did kind of forgot about it, it got lost in the shuffle it's been on my wish list and so yeah i went ahead and grabbed it so it is it's a double record set it is on color not exactly sure what to call that it's kind of red but it's really not if you see it in person mauve i don't know um it doesn't label it as what it is uh it is a gatefold but there's not no images or anything just a lot a lot of text on the inside so yeah now it is obviously a little more up to date than the 80s stuff that some people may to this day find cheesy original i need to get the original we reserve the right on vinyl i haven't seen it i'm looking for it in a while i haven't seen it for a decent price online i do want to go back and have that because i did have that back i have the cd because it came out on cd years later i used to have it back in the day and um what you don't believe me yeah i had it back in it okay oh you want proof okay how about this that's actually a picture of my dorm room in the military in 1985. The picture there is of my friend at the time. She was just a friend at the time, 
but that has a couple years later became my wife of 34 years this year so yes anyway that was a uh, so it, it, I, I just remember that picture because I it's weird that Madame X is in the background I believe I was playing it because that would have been in the front of the collection there at that time anyway the uh, 84 release you know i still want to get that to have the collection but this is great it's updated music i mean it sounds great it's modern music i i think i'll insert a little clip here to let you hear it But they, uh, you know, they're back. Hopefully they do more. This is the original lineup from the We Reserve the Right. So like I said, they did go through some changes over the years after the fact. When Roxy left to go with Vixen, they got another drummer for a short amount of time. But And the singer left, and they got different singers, including Sebastian Bach. But anyway, so this is the original lineup from the We Reserve the Right album. So it's really great to have. And I'm looking forward to grabbing the first album. But hopefully they will have more to come in the future. It's really great. It's just classic metal sound. Uh, what you would expect from a band that's gotten back from the 80s they didn't really you know they, they've just it's it's updated it's great sounding anyway that's it just wanted to share that one and a little history there because they're not a band that i get to see very much of that you don't hear much of in the vc because they were just really a one and done band in the 80s and they didn't really you know only made a small blip but if you didn't know they're back limited on vinyl you can grab it at places like amazon and uh, discogs and stuff but that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.